Delhi man lynched on suspicion of cow slaughter. On April 11th in Western New Delhi, a farm caretaker was murdered after a group of men attacked him for allegedly slaughtering a cow. Five other men were injured during the attack. The police had received reports of an alleged cow slaughter and they rushed to the scene, but the attack was already taking place. They were able to stop the attack, but unfortunately one of the victims, uh, Rajaram, a 40-year-old man, died of his injuries the same day. The police registered two FIRs, or first information reports, which is a police report for those who don't know, and arrested five individuals suspected of cow slaughter, but no one was arrested for murder. The police also said that they collected a few samples from, from the spot and sent them for examination for the cow slaughter investigation. 10 to 15 men claiming to be cow vigilantes carried out the attacks. Uh, Jasho Devi, Rajaram's wife, accused the attackers of spreading false rumors about her husband. Are you serious? Like, they're not even investigating the murder? Like, is the priority the cow slaughter? Everybody's just like... They are investigating the murder, but it was just ridiculous that yeah. the people immediate the first FIR, the first police report was filed against the alleged cow slaughter. And then second, I think maybe they're it's unclear because I was looking into it. It doesn't seem like there's been like following arrests to my knowledge. Maybe they're waiting on an autopsy. I don't know. But all of the 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 initial action that the police took were all was all first and foremost about the cow slaughter. Oh, and Bread um, of Life gave us a donation. Thank you for the ten dollars, Bread of Life. Thank yeah, you for thank your you weekly so tithe. <laughs> thank you so much for that. Guys, these donations are better than super chat because the donations YouTube doesn't take any cut. The super chats YouTube takes a huge cut. But the donations, YouTube doesn't take a cut and it even covers the transaction fee. So thank you for that. Um, but okay. So I, I don't I don't know what to say. This is ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe some vegans will be like, finally the priorities are equalized. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Those would be like the vegan extremists, to be fair. Um no. I think well, I one thing I I think my my thinking about this has kind of shifted recently um, because I'm coming to think, and I would like to hear what people in the live chat have to think about this. I think that um, lynchings over alleged cow slaughter should be considered a form of blasphemy lynching. Right. What do you think about that? They're not usually yeah, kind yeah. of classified or thought of that way, but it hit me. I was like, this is this is blasphemy. This is a blasphemy lynching. Yeah. By the way, remind isn't India the number one exporter of cow meat in the world? I believe so. Is that true? Because that's some irony right there. Um well, oh. let me Google. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's still true. I know it was. Eric is saying there were some a-holes who asked to legalize cow lynching last year. Wow, the audacity. Well, in 2019, the government established an agency or a wing or branch, whatever, that's specifically dedicated to cow protection, which in many ways people say, like, they think it really legitimized this kind of activity, this kind of vigilantism because it's saying, well, look, the government even has a mandate to protect the cows. We're just taking it upon ourselves. And what's interesting in this case is that oftentimes the victims are Muslims. And so people wonder to what extent the cow slaughter is the actual motivation. Um, in this case, it wasn't a Muslim guy who was the victim of this, seemingly. Um, based on my research and the names of everyone involved in this matter, it doesn't seem like he comes from a Muslim background. So oftentimes when it's not a Muslim, it's often lower caste like Dalits or Adivasi tribal people. I don't know the background of this person, but it, it's really interesting to consider the way in which um, these lynchings are used as an excuse to... Uh, go after already disadvantaged or historically disadvantaged communities um 
I don't know necessarily what was the background of this person though, but I mainly wanted to talk about it because we haven't talked about um, cow slaughter lynchings in a really long time on this channel. And it's something that happens way too often. It happens fairly frequently. It happens so frequently that I don't even really choose it to cover it on the news because it, it it's like, oh, well, it's just another cow lynching. Like, what can we say about this? But then I realized, I was like, actually, we should be highlighting this. And I, I wanted to talk about this, like, flipping the way I'm thinking about it as this is a blasphemy lynching. Um, he starts right. some but, comments. No, yeah, but before that, Al Uza just got us a one thousand dollars. We just reached the one thousand dollar mark because Al Uza just donated fifteen dollars. Thank you so much, Al Uza. Oh Al -Uza my being... god! Thank you. No, we, we... not oh my god, oh my Uza. Oh my Uza, Uza Akbar. Yeah. Everyone say Uza Akbar in the live chat. <laughs> Uza, Uza is one of the daughters of Allah, by the way. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so um, much. I can't believe we got to the one thousand dollar mark so fast. Thank you. Appreciate wow. That. We yeah. have such an amazing community. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So highlight. Uh, yeah, I started a whole bunch of comments. You want to read those? Um. So Bubble is kind of concurring with me, saying this is basically a blasphemy law. Like Pakistan's model, mere mere allegations are now enough. Um. Uh. Eric is saying, Armin, remember when Haris told you, Haris Sultan, told you how Imran Khan was radicalizing Pakistani since 2018? Modi is doing the same in India. Man, when you look at the, the graphs for hate crimes in India, like it is shocking what has happened since 2014. Um, and Asian American is saying, Atheist Republic is destroying gravestones blasphemous to people who practice ancestor worship. Huh? If it is, oh, he's cha he's treated, challenging. He's challenging you. If it's your... treated as a, uh, if it's treated as a shrine, it would certainly be desecration. I mean, it's not your own property, so that's vandalism. We how yeah. is that <clears throat> how is that challenging me? I don't understand. I wouldn't. No, support he's saying, someone he, doing he's this. trying to he's trying to see whether or not we could just separate the crime. Like, would this be pro would this be property damage crime? Or because some people cherish it as something as part of their religion, uh, and if they, oh no no no, so Asian American, if you want to be consistent, you have to say like the people who take a revenge on somebody who destroyed the gravestone because it's their religion, then that would be. Um, oh yeah, a blasphemy crime. So if it depends on the intention, it would be if you're trying if you're destroying it because you want to attack some people's religious belief, that would be considered blasphemous by them. And if they take your revenge on it, that would be a blasphemous crime. If you want to compare it to what Susanna is saying, um, squirrel a squirrel is asking us on Twitch on how they could build us help us build our community on Twitch. Uh, we don't know much about how to manage our Twitch and how to promote it. But if you have any ideas, please email us at info at atheistrepublic.com. And if you want to help us, then let us know. Give us your suggestions on how we could grow our Twitch community. By the way, follow us on Twitch. Link in the description. Yes. And Seth just donated $5. Thank you so much, oh, Seth. Thank um, you. Okay. Last comment is... Um, Actually, there were two good comments. So Bobola is saying the main cow export companies are Hindu, close to BJP. They named their companies Al Kabir or something to sound Muslim. Cringe. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Wait, what? It, it, they're, they're, so it, mm. the main cow exporters are Hindu, but they call their companies names that sound Islamic. To cover themselves? Yeah. To hide the fact that they're Hindu and close to BJP. Yeah, or to, that's amazing. Wow, is like, that if that's the actual this reason attributable to the Islamic side, or just to like not bring attention to the fact that you know they're Hindu? Okay, that, if that is their intention reason, that is unbelievable, amazing. Um, and this is an interesting comment from PK. PK is saying, "I will say we have been an extremely tolerant society. I remember as a kid seeing cows being slaughtered right in the middle of the street by Muslims. Sad we have come to this. It's a very interesting perspective." 
Okay, that is uh, freedom wise, that's uh, cool. But again, if you, I'm not in favor of slaughtering cows in the middle of a street. Yeah, okay? I don't think that's sanitary. <laughs> it's not sanitary. And it's also not, uh, I mean, I'm not a v vegan. Okay. But if you want to kill cows, like do it in a very, in a factory where they have one of those things that, you know, what is those thing called? Do things, you know, the the guns, the electric, I don't know what it is called, right? There's something that they put at, right at the uh, back of the head of the cow. Um, I've seen, uh, I, and I've seen that there's different ways that they kill the pigs and the cows in factory that is absolutely painless, right? The way that if you're doing it in the street, you're doing it the cutting the knife, uh, cutting the neck with a knife way, which is, and letting it bleed, which is a very slow and painful death. Right, it's really bad. Um, you know, I'm not in favor of defending human, defending animals' um, life, but I am in favor of defending them from pain. You know what I mean? So this, I don't want to endorse that in any way. Like, you know, like it needs to be. I think there needs to be laws about the way you kill animals and to make sure that it's completely painless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. So so Asian Americans saying yeah, it, it breaks the spine instantly. So the, you just drop dead without feeling anything. Wow. Oh, it's a stun gun. Yes. It's a stun yeah, that's gun. what I said. I just really yeah. like how Asian American will just is constantly inserting like Chinese heritage and mythology into everything. Oh my, Hanuman slash Wukong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, Wukong. <laughs> Wait, that was racist. Did you do a Chinese accent? No, I was just saying it. No, I can't. That sounded like Chinese. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Really? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was just putting my own Susan I am kidding. On I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We've been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.